What's poppin' is Enzo McFly. It's your girl, your car keys, I am. She what it do, man. This your boy, E.S.G. What's up, what's up? It's your girl, Angry Hero. It's your boy, Mikey Iso. What's up? It's your girl, Desiree Simone. And we K22 Radio, man. I know what's going down. The biggest blood in America. Hey, man, you already know who it is. DJ Me What's going on, man? It's comedian Jeff Shelley. What's good, Words? Show me DJ Charles. Say, man, it's Wapping Puerto Rico, man. Ah, baby boy. Baby girl. It's your girl, Beat Simona with Catch-22. What's up, Houston? It's your boy, Quay. I just wrapped a dope-ass interview with Catch-22. This is the man behind the brand, Isaac Moore. I am so excited to be here um, at Catch-22. I had a wonderful experience with these awesome people right here, man. And uh, we're just talking about the brand, man. We're just talking about what is next up for the Isaac and Moore and things like that, man. So, yeah, man, y'all stay tuned. and. I'm so excited to be here again. Thank you. You're, you're now rocking with the voice of the South. C Catch 22 radio show on 92kills.com. Yeah, we are back. We are back. Shout out to Leah J for stopping by and kicking it with us. It's Catch 22 radio show. Don't have the name of Tay. We got Brian. Yeah. We got Drew in here. I mean, yeah, Drew. I'm but here. I want to talk about Brian's uh, champion shirt. He's a champion today. Yeah, he's <laughs> he tried to swag it up because we got another special guest in the building. And he is a fashion icon. You can't. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. You can't. I've been on his page all day like, man, I want that bag. I want that shirt and I want them pants. I want it all. We got Isaac and Moore in the building. What's yeah. poppin'? What's going on? I'm just happy to be here. And we happy to have you here. I feel, like, I feel like I'm a rapper on with this, with this headphones. <laughs> <laughs> you about like, to spit some bars? Right yeah, I like your shirt too. You look like a rapper. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to dress him. I want to dress him more. I know that's right. So what's been going on with you? Man, just staying consistent. You know, um, getting more creative. And... Come on in the mic, huh? Huh? Come on in the mic, sir. Okay, I'm, you know, uh, yeah, I'll bring it to you. like yeah. this. Yeah, either yeah. way. All right, all right, all right. Good. Nah, just, just, you know, just staying consistent. Okay. Staying focused, getting more creative, and everything like that for the new year. And uh, you know, it's just 90 days in this in this new year, so just trying to think what I'm gonna do uh, next month and then month after that and things like that. So that's amazing. So I, as a creator, like, how do you stay on top of, I guess, um, trends? How do you how do you create a trend? Trying yeah, to be a creator. I'm, I'm glad that you. I'm glad that you. Uh, that you have to redo that because I don't. I don't. I'm a creator. Right. So I can't just go with a trend. Right. I gotta create my own. Right. right. I'm saying I'm not going with the same trajectory as these pre-existence big names out there. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to create my own. This right. is black luxury right here. Yeah. So I'm saying this has never been done before. So I can't do something that's been. That been done and do something. No, I gotta do it different. You know what right. I'm saying? So, so what made you actually get into fashion as a whole and then decide to go the black luxury way with you? You know, it just it just been a long process. You know, I did not know I was gonna be doing this. I didn't know if there was a need for it right. until my consistency, uh, my persistence, um, and, and, and realizing, man, what it's a real real big lack in this profession of fashion, and the lack is. That when you think about luxury, when you think about things like that, we not the result of people's success. Right. See what I'm saying? Like, there's no alternative. There's no uh, option. Mm -hmm. You know, that it's like we bound to buy Gucci. We bound to buy Prada. We bound to buy, like, you see what I'm saying? All these different things like that. But that's why I stepped into place and everything so we could give another alternative of where we could spend our money at on luxury. You know what I'm saying? So, right. yeah. Now, in the wake of all this controversy with Gucci and Prada, what do you think about all of that that's going on with them? I mean, <clears throat> I think like this, like, I'm not a big person of, like, focus on the, on the problem of mm -hmm. a lot of different things. I'm right. a real, real big person of focus on the solution. Right. Now, we all know the, we all know the problem. Of you know course. What I'm saying? But I realize that them people is not the problem. We are. Right. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, we really are the problem, but we can solve that problem as well, too. We are the solution to the problems that we allow as well, too. See what I'm saying? Because we don't believe that we're supporting these people. Right. You see what I'm saying? We don't believe that we're really, really supporting it. Things like that. But, but when it comes down to us, we want to support black. You see what I'm saying? Right. We want to support black. We want to, I want to support, but that shit going to fade. But we need to have that same kind of symbol in life, just like how we go out there. And, and go with Gucci, go with Prada, and things like that with one of us. Because you come from something. I come from something. We all come from the same thing, but it takes a lot of courage and motivation just to get to where you are right now. So we all need to celebrate one another like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So 
Right. <coughs> so what is the what is the future for Isaac and Moore? Like, where where do you see yourself as you're continuously progressing? Because you you've accomplished a lot. Yeah. So where like where where's the end goal? I guess you can say. The end goal is seeing people work hard for this. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like people going to college. You know what I'm saying? People not um, uh, people want to become doctors and lawyers and they want to celebrate their accomplishment with an Isaac Moore purse or a belt or uh, anything. You know what I'm saying? That's my accomplishment in life right there. You know what I'm saying? Just like I always think what do uh, Lamborghini, the founders of Lamborghini, what they work for. Right. They keep creating. Right. right. So I'm saying, so that's, you know, that's what I'm doing right now. Now, with brands such as uh, Versace or anything like that, I see a lot of the their stories being told through their clothing. Does your history have anything to do with the way that you design your clothes or anything? <sighs> yeah. My, uh, my struggle has a lot to do with it. You know, like, I never had a car until I was 30 years old. I'm 34. So I'm saying, I've been walking all my life with a backpack full of my designs in my hand. Mm. So I'm saying, like, I slept in parks, I slept in 24 hour restaurants, you know, um, and a lot of people see me do the same thing. I really believe life is about finding something that you want to stick to for the rest of your life. Right. So I'm saying, so my struggle taught me everything that I know right now, taught me how to be creative because I had to figure out how to create a dollar, how to create, how to talk to this person so I could sleep on their sofa, you know, I had to get creative. Right. So I'm saying, so the agriculture in my struggle taught me how to how to create my own everything. The reason I found out I'm a designer is because I started creating my own life. Right. You see what I'm saying? I started designing my own life. So, yeah. That's so, with, with, with going through that struggle, how do you not, um, I guess, go get a regular nine-to-five like a normal person would? Like, seeing that I'm a creator and I believe in my gift, but I'm not going to conform to what you say is a, a normal lifestyle. So, when you discover, when you discover purpose in life, mm-hmm. a direction in life, Everything that comes after it works for that purpose. Mm. So I'm saying, even when you get a job, your 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 job is a means to support your purpose. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying, a lot of people get a job without no purpose, so they stay on it. Mm-hmm. Right. So I'm saying, right. they keep doing the same thing, but everything that has a purpose, everything works for that purpose. So I'm saying, and that's what we pick our friends for for the purpose. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying, we won't do half the shit that we're doing if we know what we want to do. Right. right. So I'm saying so, and and you know, yeah. So what makes a luxury a luxury brand? Is it the material? Is it the name? What is it that makes you feel or say that this is a luxury brand? It's how it's presented. Mm. It's how it's presented, man. That's the uh, that's the main thing. It's presentation. How do you want to present it? How do people when you create? How do you want people to see? what you create and how you want it, you know, how you want the people to see it. So I'm saying, and of course, you have to have the, the quality and all this is the way you present it. You know, that's what really, really makes it luxury and things like that. Then, you know, I think the biggest luxury in the world is, is when you know yourself and, and you, I think kingdom is like the biggest luxury because like when a king sits on the table mm-hmm. or that chair, it becomes royalty, just like the king. Ooh. You see what I'm saying? Right. And it's like, we don't succumb to the chair, the chair succumb to who we are. Right. And that's luxury right there. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's come with a purpose, that's come with knowing who you are, things like that. And that's what this brand is about, really knowing who you are. I don't want people to not know who they are to represent this. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I want people to know who they are to represent this because this brand represents them. What they what they are doing and what they're trying to do, right? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. That's so what do makes you, do you make big guys clothing? Because oh. I see a lot of little people wearing it. Yeah. That's you know, that's so a good, that's a good question. You know what I mean? Look, look, because I, I I like to. I'm a, I feel like I'm a very fashionable guy. I'm not as fashionable as you, but I feel like you, I'm a fashionable you guy. Did, no, you did. But uh, <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to find luxury in in, in my size. So right. you know what I mean? Is there is that a? I think it's I think it's better for big guys because like. Everything else is more available. You have to cater to your body right? and things like that, man. So I think it's going to take more time, but I think it's going to be more better, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Of course, 
I make stuff like that, but it takes more fabric to produce it. Oh, I mean, I look. I I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm used to paying more. I get like yeah, when you yeah, put yeah. an extra L on there, an extra X, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like some extra saying, dollars. They try to say it slow too, yeah. like you know, for two X, three X, yeah. yeah. upon yeah. request. Yeah. Yeah. Upon <laughs> I get that question all the time, man. Do you make big? Yeah, of course. That's okay. what I'm saying. <laughs> so, is there any other black designers that you that you look at or even got your inspiration from? Um, I can't sit there and say that like I don't look at other people. But when I start learning who I am, I stop looking at other people. Mm. Right. You know, I start just really, really like understanding, like, and trusting the way I think. I have something to bring to the table. That's something that's contrary to what's been happening right now. You know, I have a problem to solve in this world. You know right. what I'm saying? So, you know, so yeah, man. Um, uh, I'm trying to think who who out there like. Um, that's really, really doing it. Virgil. Who? I was gonna ask you about Virgil. Yeah, I li <clears throat> like I like Kanye, I like Virgil, things like that. But it's like they. I don't know, man. I won't. I, I couldn't work for another company like that. Man. I gotta mm. produce my own. I was gonna ask you. Right. You know what I'm saying. So if another company right. came with that bag and they put it in front of you, say. They said a hundred million right now for your brand to collaborate with my brand. What you say? It always comes to a vision, man. A lot of people don't have vision. They just got talent. Mm. They just got. Mm -hmm. They just got the things they identify that can make them some money. Right. I think it's not the money, man. It's about what I need to fulfill in this world, man. Exactly. That's crazy because if they offer you a hundred million, then you're worth a billion. Yeah. That's that's what's really like, but a lot of people see that hundred million and they'll run to it because I, I ain't never seen that many zeros. I right. really believe that, like. <clears throat> That's right. I really believe I can come on my own, man. Like I've been, listen, I created my own, my whole life. Right. You see what I'm saying? I created my own life, man. Like I took the fabric that life gave me and I just threw that shit away and created my own fabric. Right. You see what I'm saying? My own little, you, you see what I'm saying? Like right. my own pattern and things like that. So I think that I could, if I could, if I could do that, I could create my own. My own finances and things like that to support what I need to support. So, so besides Absolutely. like designing, do you do like consultation? Hold on, before we get into that, okay, we're gonna go ahead and take a break, okay. a quick break. He he wanna learn, and then yeah, he's <laughs> yeah. gonna weigh in. He didn't wanna. I've been trying to break it for a minute. My bad. We're gonna go to a mix with DJ Anthrax. When we come back, we have more with Isaac. Right, let's, let's go. Yeah, that's dope. <laughs> I just want y'all to know that Ray did not count us in. He did hands. So he wanted to catch y'all off guard. He did, but he did. Because <laughs> I think he wanted the people to hear what we were saying, but I guess we'll talk about that. But that's fine. I could definitely tell him that Drake wasn't good on that song. I agree. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, Isaac, I did want to ask you, um, when it comes to creating your clothing, what is your creative process like? Like, what do you sit and think about when you're coming up with these amazing, amazing patterns that I'm going to steal this shirt from? Man, you know what's so crazy? I'm getting inspired right now by these things. What you call these things right here? Oh, those lights. Are sound cancellation. Yeah. <laughs> the lights are light the pattern. Huh? You're talking about the lights no, are the pattern. No, no, the, the, the right here, the little sound thing the right pads, here. Yeah. Oh, the I, thought, I thought you were pointing up. Y'all see that? Y'all don't see what I'm seeing right now? That no. shit is crazy. I, I, see, see, I, see, I see triangles. See you see triangles. I see gray. I see patterns. I see what Man, that thing. this shit. Shut is up, crazy. Brian. You don't see that. <laughs> he said out his left eye that can't see. <laughs> you know, I just I'm I'm just really getting inspired right now, man. This is so beautiful right here. This this shit right here. I don't even know what this called, but it's the sound cancellation pattern. Yes, I feel to get really in yeah. Don't put no sound cancellation painting on your clothes. Oh, hey, I'm nah, aware. Now nah, I'm th I'm talking about like a purse or a backpack or something like that. Mm. That would be hard. You see what I'm saying? You smart. And uh, you know, <laughs> And that's how I get inspired, man. I just look around. I, I'm inspired by shapes and, and stuff like that and how it's used. And, and I could create what I want to create out of it and things like that. So, Right. And so, Drew, you had a question before we left out. Oh, yeah. I was asking, um, do you do, I know you design, but do you do, like, consultation work? Like, do you, like, say, hey, like, you know what I mean? Like, your body fit this. It don't fit this. Like, do you do you work with other people just to say, hey, I want to rock a certain brand? Even with it, adding your own brand, do you introduce people to other brands or just yours? No, I'm, listen, I am so focused on my... 
I don't even see nothing. Right. Like, I never heard the guy comment about Tommy Hilfiger and all this kind of shit like that. I am so focused and I'm so focused what I'm going to change, how I'm going to change the world. Mm. See what I'm saying? Right. I can't focus on another person's mind. Right, right, right. right I got to right. focus on my mind because everything is, is, is pre-existence right now. It's the result of someone's mind. Yeah. So if I want to exist, if I want to... Uh, create something or have something exist. It got to be the result of my mind. Mm-hmm. So I can't focus on other, you no know, everybody else's mind. So, yeah. so how do we expand this? Is this something that you are doing um, piece by piece? Do we have a, a, a shop, or how do we get this to the people? What what we doing right now? You know, like I got I had a ten, I got a ten year strategy. You know, last year it was developing, like getting uh, things out of my my head and my mm-hmm. mind and things like that. So this year is all about awareness. Okay. So I'm saying you're gonna start seeing, you know, me on, you know, uh, you know, things like this, and you know, on the Steve Harvey show, and a lot of different other things and stuff like that, and and bigger and bigger. And they will ask, where can you get this kind of stuff from? Yeah. And I just want everybody to talk about it because I want the brand, I want the name to be bigger than the products is out there. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying I want everybody to know about it, but they can't get it right now until I'm ready for. Right. Yeah, that domain is going to wear on. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Wait, you see? Yeah, yeah, that's how I want to rock it. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and yeah. kicking it with us. We really appreciate you. Come back anytime. Any fashion shows you have going on. I did, I forgot to mention, I have a group. Um, and we're called The Famous and Fashionable. Um, <laughs> So what? <laughs> I'm their manager. This is my first. I didn't approve of this name, but okay, I, I rock with it. Let's go. I just want you to know. I don't that know how to pitch that one. I, <laughs> I just don't think thick and nasty will fit in this. And we definitely will. Thick and nasty. Okay, he said we, we're nasty. creators. That's the name of my group. Oh shit. We are thick and nasty. <laughs> This is a what? A sex group or something? <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's the first time we've ever gotten there. But guess what? We yes. fall. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Who, who is nasty and who is thick? We, we both. Don't try to separate us. Okay. Yeah. I got you. Drew, you got to pitch it. I can't pitch that, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> he and I recalled us a sex group. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, he got photo shoes for his clothes. Y'all just came with it like, right yeah. now? Mm. No, no, no. Thick and oh, nasty has been a thing. Really thought about this. Uh-huh. Yeah. You say this is the name I'm gonna go with. This is yeah, thick and nasty. So. Okay. Yeah. I think you like it. I think you need us for some photo shoots or whatever. We don't care. Real... We'll be there. Okay, I got you. Models, y'all background models, man. Go ahead and explain them. So, look, look, look. so what's right. gonna be your first photo shoot with your tongue sticking out on each other and stuff? No, no, no on each other. Wait. <laughs> no, no. We... <laughs> like I'm talking about this. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. See, on, he just it. threw it. No, he, he keep referencing me and Tate together. I can't do it. Oh, Drew, why no. No, 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 dude. <laughs> oh. well, thank you so much, Isaac, for stopping by. Where can everybody find you on social media? Just Isaac and more everything. Isaac and more uh, Instagram, Facebook, website. So me, me and Isaac were speaking before he leave. We were just speaking about the uh, two year anniversary. We, we're gonna talk about why Brian we're... talking like. <laughs> Cause it, I don't know <laughs> where did it come from. What I do? Okay, anyway, we were talking about two year anniversary. We we're just trying to figure out a way that we can actually put this together. Guys. Okay. Put what together? That's why he wants to See, they still think about thick and nasty. Yeah, so, <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand. <laughs> Brian is not that. Brian put on me. his white man telephone voice. <laughs> well, me and Isaac was talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> he never talked about You ain't at work. Cut that off. <laughs> he is at work. But yeah, that would be awesome. That would be super awesome. I would love that. So okay. we'll discuss that. But thank you again so much thank for stopping so by. Thank you so much. And I appreciate you guys for allowing me to be here and things like that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Brian, you want to close us up with your white guy voice? Yeah, thank you guys for listening to Catch Two Radio. We're about to go into a mix with DJ Anthrax. Uh, you guys have a great day. <laughs> you're, you're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 Radio Show on 92kills.com.